What's up, guys? Let me say good morning. Good morning. All right, here we go. Got the Flash Forge. I just got it dropped off. It was, it was delivered by Amazon, but it was an 18-wheeler truck dropped it off. It was weird. It's the first time I ever had something. Maybe because it's so big, I don't know. But look at this. Here's what I was concerned about. Look at that big hole through it. But I just checked it out. All good. I'm just unwrapping it now, guys. So I'll do another video when I get it up and running. But this is the Flash Forge Adventurer 4 Lite. And let me tell you something. I looked on YouTube. There's a lot of videos for the Adventurer 4, not for the Lite. The difference between the two is the Lite does not have the camera and it does, does not have the HEPA filtration, which I don't need. But um, I'll do another video, guys, when I get up and running. I just want to show you how big this thing is. Check it out, the Terminator 2. Look at this thing, it's huge. Yeah, if you guys haven't checked out Jersey 3D Printing, remember that channel I told you about? It's, um, it was not really a, well, he's an acquaintance, because, you know, he's, we just started, like, um, talking. He was originally on Facebook. He does um, 3D printing lessons. He tells people how to do stuff. But um, he's, a, he's a nice guy, so we'll probably become friends, I'm sure. Anyway, he's printing all different stuff for Terminator movies, like the, like the, like the head of the Terminator and um, the, 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 the robot and Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's making the woman now that was in the movie, Sarah. But really, he does a really good job at that stuff, man. Really sharp. Oh, she just killed that guy, didn't she? Are they going to show it? That's the metal man. He takes over different bodies. But this thing's going to be amazing, guys. I'm telling you. What's the dog's name? Oh, she used a different name. He used a different name. Now he knows it's not her. Your foster parents are dead. <laughs> Look at this, guys. I don't know if you ever saw this. I'm sure you did. Look at that. Oh, my God. Right through the guy's mouth into his head. All right. Check out, check out my channel later. I'm going to do another video of this up and running. This thing makes some amazing prints. It's all enclosed, and it's better for the environment for printing 3D because it keeps the temperature accurate. All right, anyway, I'll check you guys out pretty soon. Hello, everyone. You probably saw the short video I put up already. This is a continuation of the unboxing video. Anyway, this is it. I'm only at 21%, guys. It has 12 hours and 19 minutes left, and I'm still a beginner at this, and this is the reason why it's taking so long. Do you see the infill? There's something called the infill. It makes the structure stronger. What I did, I didn't, I didn't, I was rushing so much just to get this machine running, I was all excited. You can see it from the top too, look. You see that hexagon? All those hexagon shapes? That's the infill. That's like the longest infill forever. Like I didn't have to do that, this model this strong. So that's why it's taken like 15 hours and, yeah, 15 and a half hours. But uh, you see what happens when you're a beginner? It's coming out good. It's coming out, it's probably gonna be perfect, but I'm wasting a lot of filament because I really didn't need an infill that strong. You know, this is just a little, a little bust model of Arnold Schwarzenegger, the, the Terminator. But uh, because I didn't check the infill when I sliced it, slicing means that you slice it and it gives you appropriate time when the model is gonna be done. And then you put it on your flash drive or SD card, and then you transfer it to this. See that? There's the SD card with the USB. And what I did, I was rushing so much, I never checked the infill. You don't really need this structure inside. So that's why it's taken a lot of time. This is probably a three hour model. And I turned it into a 15 hour project. But because the machine was brand new, I didn't want to stop the first project. I'm just gonna let it finish. It'll, be, it'll probably be done tomorrow around 7.30, 8 a.m. But it is what it is next time. That's a good tip. Just just check the slicer program. Make sure you get the correct infill. You don't need it this much. Um, next time you can pick the tree infill or the lightning. That puts little structures inside to make it strong enough, but not this long. This is going to take forever. But will it be solid? This will be really solid. But it uses a lot of uh, filament. It uses about 165 grams of filament. And it's out of a one kilogram roll. There's still plenty left. But it uses a lot, more than I wanted. So that's it. Here's the machine, guys. This is the 
the Flash Forge Adventure 4 Lite. So far, so good. Really nice machine. All right, guys. I'll, I'll continue a video tomorrow and show you what it looks like. Tune in tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon.